Hi guys, welcome back to How To Tuesdays. As you can tell from the title, today is liquid liner. Now I said specifically liquid liner and not just eyeliner because I'm going to do a whole video with gel eyeliner, but today my favorite technique, the one that I use every single time I do eyeliner um, these days, <laughs> is liquid liner. Um, before, like I said, I think I said it in the video, but if not, I'm going to say it here. Um, at the very beginning when I started playing with makeup and I just started doing all of it, I used to use gel liner. I used to use the Maybelline Lasting Drama liner. So, um, I was more comfortable with that at the beginning, but I'm still going to do a liquid eyeliner tutorial so you see how to handle this product specifically and how to use it and what I like to do and how to do it and you know the whole thing. I'm very in-depth with this one because I know eyeliner can be very difficult and it's very frustrating for a lot of people, especially at the beginning. I knew it was for me, so I go in-depth. As in, I will tell you where to put your pinky, how to tilt it, angles, and like the whole shebang. Alright, so um, I hope this video helps. Um, if you do recreate this um, eyeliner technique or you try it out for yourself and you're doing it with me, you try it out and it works for you or if you if it doesn't work for you, just please let me know. Um, leave a comment down below. I'd love to know if you actually try this out and if it helps you. Um, but yeah, without rambling on and on, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so for eyeliner today, I'm going to show you liquid eyeliner as I on the title. Um, I love liquid and gel liner. I'm not as good with a felt tip liner, so I'm going to show you liquid, which is my favorite type of eyeliner. I feel like it's the easiest and most precise, to be fair. Um, I have been doing eyeliner for quite a while now, so like that's why I really like this one, but at the beginning, I remember when I started doing makeup at like, very, very, very beginning, like 2015, I think you probably, if you go back, on my videos 2015 2016 yeah 2016 is when I started like using gel liner and the one that I really really love and have loved for years it's the Maybelline lasting drama um, gel eyeliner it's amazing it's um, not uh, since it's not liquid liner and it's not as loose and like you know precise like you know get that like very thin flick if you know what I mean um, because it's gel and it's like a thicker consistency and you need to use a brush I used to use this exact same <laughs> Um, liner brush with this one. So my old videos, I I did quite a few with um, eyeliner. I used to use this and that's how I started playing with eyeliner. So I feel like this might be the easiest choice when you're starting out because um, it's a little bit more forgiving than the liquid eyeliner. But if you want to have a more sharp um, look, liner, <laughs> I 100% recommend this one. They're both drugstore so they're really affordable and they're good products. So yeah. Oh my god, I just broke this. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, apparently today my stuff decided to just all break. Okay, so how I start is I obviously take the liner out, but I don't just start right away. I remove the excess, like I toil it around here. And I just remove the excess so I don't have way too much product, otherwise it's a lot and then you can't handle. It is just it's too much to work with. So what I like to do first is I first like to line my lash line. I, If I'm missing more product, I just grab it from the edge like that. And then I continue lining all the way to the inner corner. Don't go all the way into your eye because otherwise it's going to go inside your um, waterline and then it's going to become a mess. You can still fix it because it's liquid, but it's fine. And this eyeliner is really long wearing, but it's not waterproof, so it's not like super hard to remove after after the um at the end of the day. So then I grab this little flick from the end of the lash line. You see right there. And then what I like to do is I angle my eyeliner um, so it extends my waterline. So your waterline is here, this one right here, where you would your eyes water you know um so i kind of just look at it and i kind of extend it and i kind of sketch more or less where i want the liner to go so i do that side first and then i don't fill it in yet because then that's when you can create chaos um i don't get my liner perfect i can't ever get it 100 percent perfect i am not perfect never said i have been but just to clarify like even when eyeliner seems absolutely perfect, 
it's it's not 100% symmetrical. It could be like 99% symmetrical, but um, I can assure you it's not 100% symmetrical. <laughs> it's not humanly possible. I do the same thing with the other eye. And see how I'm angling the liner. It's very important how you use the angle of your hands. Like it's all in the wrist motion and your fingers too. I have you have more control if you move your wrist rather than your fingers because it it can like you know flick really quickly. So um, I'm gonna line this and continue to line the very end and the very flick now see how I've been doing the liner like this and then when I get to the tail I flip the liner like this and turn move so you can see better okay I do this first and then I turn my wrist and then I flick backwards do you see okay so if I were to just do my um, lash line and tight line it that's the term I would just put the lashes on and it creates like a darker lash line and it looks like it's just super it just it blends better um so we're doing liner today so we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side grabbing more liner from the very edge not sticking it all the way in that's what she say lol <laughs> okay <laughs> so the same thing now it's a little bit harder when you switch sides this side whichever is your dominant hand it's usually going to be easier to do the eyeliner on that side so this whole side of my face, my eyebrows, it's easier because my my hand's on this side, you know, the dominant hand. I'm right-handed. But when it turns to this side, I have to kind of like turn my hands for everything. For eye, like eye makeup, eyebrows, contour, everything. Like my hands like this and then I have to turn it. You know, kind of like flip it. So, same thing. I need to turn my hand and then what I need to do is I like to put my pinky doesn't have any makeup or anything on it and I rest it where the highlight isn't really intense so I can be more forgiving just in case I have a, like a fingerprint there so just be careful make sure you don't have any makeup or anything and then rest it so then what I like to do is like I said it's all in the wrist finger motion it's very difficult to show you but I'm trying my best so I rest my finger and then like I said I extend the waterline so see where it would go think of it as an imaginary line right there and then just sketch it really quickly well not really quickly you can take your time like I said it's a little bit difficult to get them completely symmetrical um, especially with your dominant hand and non-dominant hand now you gotta look at yourself straight so I have my mirror like under here and then you gotta see which one's higher which one's lower so this one's a little bit lower and usually that's the case this one's gonna be a little bit lower because it's not my dominant hand I have to do like this weird hand motion um, but that's the best I can get it but to be fair I like how this one's looking better so this one's higher and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip it a little bit further in not on the edges take everything off on the edges and then I am going to push this liner a little bit lower so how I do that is I look at myself like straight so move down here so you can see and then I like to drag it a little bit lower like that. Doesn't have to be perfect, like look. This is this is just the beginning. It's so you know more or less how to do it. So now it's kind of even, I think. I think I'm just gonna lift this side a little bit more. Like the flick I mean. Just gonna go a little bit lower. And see, here's the thing. What I like to do is, since I my my eye kind of is hooded, but not really. I just my crease kind of goes down, so I have to stretch my eyes to see. But the thing is, you have to be really careful, and you have to pay attention for these tiny details on your face. You have to know your face for this. So it's all about practice. What you have to do is, um, obviously, if you know, if you see yourself lifting your eyebrows to see better, which is fine. You have to realize that when you pull the skin upwards, it's going to look one way, but when you pull it back down, it's going to look a different way. So you have to pull back up and down and see how it's looking the best, because if you don't, then you might have gaps, you might have cracks. This is going to dry, so I'm going to put it back in. So you have to make sure it's kind of like even, and obviously if you turn at different angles, the eyeliner is going to be up, down at different angles, so you've got to be careful with that. By like the general rule of thumb that I've used is kind of like try to do like an angle, like a 90 degree angle. So you know 90 degrees like that, 
extend my waterline and then kind of do that. Do you see what I mean? Like, and the same goes for the other way, but I can't like really do it. We have to do this weird motion. So 90 degrees and then I kind of like extend. But see how I'm turning my face like that so it's easier for me? But if you look at yourself straight, I gotta do this. So that's why I turn my face so it's easier for me. Otherwise, it gets very frustrating. And yes, you have to do very thin lines at the beginning because it's quite difficult if you go right in. If you're a pro, then go for it. But since this is a how-to series and you don't really know how to do makeup or you're trying to learn or get better at, or try a different technique, then um, start out small and then add more. General rule of thumb for absolutely everything in life. Start a little bit and then increase. Because if you go full on, then it might not work out. <laughs> I'm not saying it won't, but it might not work out. So, back in. I put it all the way in so it doesn't dry. Anyway, um, I took it back out. And then, as you see, it's very, like, coated, I think. Can you see, more or less? I'm going to remove like the excess and then go in again and now on this side I don't generally put my like pinky down but but what I'm going to do now is that obviously I have two different lines here and we're not gonna leave it like that so now we're gonna start evening out everything so now after this 90 degree thing that I was telling you um, what I like to do is create kind of like tilt my head back because my eyes are a little bit hooded semi hooded just a tiny bit um, it kind of folds down, so I have to be careful. I don't really mind if there's like a fold in the liner. If you do care, just be careful with that. Just it depends on your eye shape. Um, so what I like to do is I tilt it back so I see better, and then I create this line like so. Do you see? And it starts joining. So when I turn my head normal, it looks like it's joined because of my eye shape. So that's what I like to do. I kind of like to tilt my head back and start straightening everything up. If you see that the eyeliner starts drying down, just grab a tiny bit more. You don't need a lot. Remember, it's also black, so it's intense. My head's still tilted back. I haven't moved forward. Try not to move your head a lot, otherwise you're going to lose the angle. Okay, so now we've reached the part where it splits into two, okay? Now, what I like to do here is that, you see there's still like a jagged line like that. I like to curve it there. So essentially what I like to do is remove any jagged lines and start, this is the complicated bit, to try to curve it as much as you can without making it choppy. So you see there's still two lines, if you're very very close, let me, let me zoom you in a little bit more. You still see these lines, now what I did is I grabbed a little bit more product and now I'm going to join the lines together, turn it down. It's all about hand motion, remember, I like to use my wrist better than my fingers because I have more control. So now for the very last bit, at the very end, this is when you have to be careful. Now this is when I would recommend to have the least amount of product and it's better if it's more dry because you have more control and you apply less. So this is when I put my finger down and I use my fingers instead of my wrist. So. I pull it outwards, and I'm not going to really talk, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I, um, without putting my um, liner down, what I like to do is with these areas, I start joining them, and then I flick outwards, like that. Or, like I don't like doing it with my fingers, because it's a little bit more tricky, but I do it with my wrist, but I do have to have my finger for like the joining of these nooks and crannies, I guess. And then, when it comes to the flick, I take my pinky off, and I just flick. So look, watch, grab a little bit of product to make sure I don't have a lot, thank you. So there we go, that's what I like to do for the flick. Now usually I go for a thicker liner, when I do a liner I like it to be like quite bold. You can leave it thinner, you can go thinner do the same technique but do very very thin strokes and that's when liquid liner is the best compared to gel but if you're starting out I feel like this is a good enough size um, because you have control of the product so now I'm just gonna do this side um, without saying a word so you just see me doing watch for like my hand wrist motions where I position my pinky um, so you get an idea of how to do it like real time without me explaining
Okay, so that's the liner, more or less, and I'm just going to check the width. Okay, this one's a little bit longer, I'm going to elongate this one. So there we go, that's the liner and that's my technique. Now, um, after you, if you check if they're even and um, obviously you're starting out, you're practicing, um, most likely <laughs> they'll be uneven at first. It's kind of like knowing how to work with your face and the liner specifically, whether you're using gel liner and a brush or liquid liner or like a felt tip pen. Personally, I don't like the felt tip pen because I don't get a sharp enough edge and I, I'm very flimsy with it, so I don't really like it. Um, I only like it for going over um, fake lashes and kind of like um, joining the lash band with um, the liner, so it's more seamless. So now tip number one with this is that if you see that they're way too uneven, like I can see they're tiny bit uneven, but you can't really tell. Um, one massive tip is to wear fake lashes. It will kind of like mask that and hide it and you can't really see it, so um, it's more forgiving. Just in case you mess up and you're like, oh, I can't be asked to like erase or do this or do that. Um, just do that and you'll be fine. You can't really notice unless you really, really notice it and it bothers you. Then go ahead, use a cut and bud or an angled brush with makeup remover. Um, a cut and bud with makeup remover and then just kind of like remove the bottom, clean it up. And then going back with concealer, back with the eyeshadow and then the liner. You can do that, but it's a little bit more, you know work <laughs> so if you're happy with it and it's still a little bit crooked wear fake lashes um if you know how to put fake lashes on that's a massive tip um to hide them but if you're just gonna wear um your mascara you can definitely um just leave the liner like that i'm sure it'll be fine like i said if you're just wearing mascara and you can't really hide it with fake lashes and you really 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 want to fix it and make it as perfect as you can go ahead with makeup remover like micellar water or something like that um i use the bioderma one it's really really good i love it um but anyway, I use that one and then I either use a cotton butt or a brush and I remove whatever mistakes I have. I go back in again with concealer, then powder, then eyeshadow, and then the liner. So it's more work, but if you're just wearing mascara, I would recommend that. Um, if you're a perfectionist like me. <laughs> but um, another thing that I wanted to say is that with um, mascara and liner, if you're just wearing mascara, the thing is with liner it will kind of like cover your lashes so for example me um this is as thick as i can do the liner so my lashes stick out a little tiny bit because they're really really short so you kind of have to know the length and how much you like the liner to go up <laughs> that's the thing i whenever i wear eyeliner i always 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 um wear fake lashes that's just what i do and my personal preference um, but like I said, you can just do whatever you feel like, feel no pressure, that's what I like to do. And um, to be specific, I wear the fake lashes when I do like the whole wing, like winged liner. If I just tight line, um, I can just do mascara or I do fake lashes too. But I love fake lashes, so I still wear them. But yeah, in general, this is what I like my liner to be. Usually I do it a little bit thicker around this area, as you can see here. But I'm just going to leave it thin for today, for change, <laughs> for once. And um, I'm gonna do my makeup off camera, like curl my ash. I, I can't speak. Curl my eyelashes, put fake lashes on, lipstick, and you know the whole thing. And I'll come back to say goodbye for the video. So, okay, so I finished my makeup, but there's only one thing the last that I need to do. So sometimes when you curl your eyelashes, um, <laughs> there's eyeshadow residue, and then it kind of like sticks to your liner. So this happens. Do you see it? There's like shimmer on top of the lash band and on top of the liner. I don't know if you can see properly, but it's there. So what I like to do when that happens, I already clumped my lashes together, I put my lashes on normally. What I like to do when that happens, I grab a little bit of the liner, do the same thing that I always do. Remove all of the excess, try to remove most of it actually, just take off everything. And then I close my eye and I go over it, over the lash band the liner and the actual 
fake lash. I'll cut a little bit more. And now, sometimes what happens is that this part of the liner, the tube, the stick, the thing holds it together. Um, sometimes gets a little bit of um, eyeliner. So what I like to do is rub my finger across it just in case, because then exactly what I was trying to avoid. You get little dots on top from the lashes touching the upper bit and see it had some there so sometimes it happens just gotta be careful i'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye and that's it one more time just in case and yes i had more and that is it ladies and gentlemen that's what i like to do so this is the finished look guys i finished my makeup i finished my eyes this is the eyeliner i heard from you uh, I hope you really liked this, this video. If I helped you and you managed to give it a go and it worked out, please send me a picture, leave me a comment. I always respond to all of my comments and I thought I had something in the back of my head. Um, I always respond to my comments and DMs and like and anything really to my YouTube. So um, thank you so much for watching. You've made it all the way here to the end. If you try it and if you like this video and if I helped you, Please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, if you're new. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!